What is going on everyone? Enzo here in episode 2 of my Chelsea career mode where we are bringing Saudi ball to England and see if we could implement it like he did at Napoli. So far this season, uh, in real life, everything's going uh, as planned. Big game this weekend versus Liverpool. Cannot wait to see that. Saw the Carabao Cup game the other day where Liver where uh, Chelsea had that nice comeback and won 2-1. We'll see what happens in the league this weekend. But back in game, we have signed Koulibaly in real life. Or in the game, sorry. And now we were in episode one. Now we're trying to bring in Marco Asensio as our cam for 82 million, which is an absolute 82 million pounds, by the way, which is an absolute steal. Uh, I think any team would pay 82 million pounds. I don't know what the equivalent of that in Euro is off the top of my head, but that would be an absolute steal in real life. I think any team would take that. So we are going to put Marco Asensio right in as our cam. I know he plays more uh, off the right wing at the moment, at this moment in time, but this kid just has everything, the athleticism, the touch on the ball. His shot is incredible. Uh, cannot wait to see how he progresses throughout his career. Looks like he's going to get way more playing time this year with Ronaldo having gone to Juve. Uh, I cannot wait to see more from him. I think we might. We got some offers for Drinkwater, Christensen, and I think Van Hinkle as well. Uh, I was a little on the fence about that as we go throughout the episode, but the we have a decent amount of squad depth in those positions, especially bringing in um, Koulibaly at the back. So I might move Christensen. I'm not sure yet. I, he's a young kid, and I want to see how he progresses. But for the sake of the game, I, I, if I could build up, build the budget back up after signing Asensio and Koulibaly. I'd rather just bring in big name superstars. It's more fun that way for now, to be honest. I'm not really interested in developing uh, long-term youth in this game uh, right now, but we'll, we'll see We'll see how that transpires, but we are going to jump into this is game two of the Summer League verse of our summer tournament versus Barcelona. Uh, we were able to take all three points in the first game versus Atletico. We won that game 4 nothing, but we are down here early to Barca 1-0. Um, this game didn't really go as planned. Uh, Barca's going to immediately make it 2 nothing right there. But I, I wanted to do this tournament because we play Atletico, Barca, and Juve in the third game. So you figure if we play the three best teams in the game up front, then uh, as the season we get into the season with our team, we should we should only make things easier. Um, so we lost that game to nothing. So one and one in summer league. We draw Juve in the third game, and uh, Costa is going to take the corner kick. It's going to be headed out by I believe that was Conte. Juve springs the ball back out. Bentancor back to Sandro Alexandro. They are just running all over us, and we get absolutely rinsed right there by uh, Bernardeschi, who. He's coming along pretty well this year. He's been getting a lot of starts on that right wing. Um, even in front of Dybala and Costa. I don't know if that's just part of Allegri's plan to rotate the squad. But he's been doing fairly well. And right there, we just get absolutely <laughs> rinsed. <laughs> Diving scissor kick into the top corner. Ridiculous goal right there. We are down one nothing early. But we're going to work our way back into this game. Morata back to Kante. William into Azpilicueta, nice little sidestep to get around, back to Willian, down the wing, he's only got Rugani to beat, whips across into the box, and Asensio buries it in the back of the net, and starts on a great note for uh, Chelsea this year, I was going to get a little excited there, but saying what a goal on his debut and all this, but you know it's only summer league, so let's settle down, uh, Asensio drawn at 1-1 with Juve, Going into this match, uh, Juve and ourselves were level on three points. Barcelona was in first, so I believe we need to at least draw this game at a minimum to progress in the tournament. Not sure where goal difference stands at the moment, but either way, 1-1. Still getting the kinks out of the system, but like I said, if we play playing Juve and Barca and Atletico over the summer, uh, things should only be easier when the season gets going. I believe our first real game is going to be an FA Cup match, or I'm sorry, uh, Community Shield Trophy versus uh, City. So we'll see how that goes. But immediately, Juve is going to get back into the game. Bernardeschi again is running all over us. Nice little neat finish, cross finish into the top corner of the net. Goalkeeper had no chance. Kepa had no chance in that one. Bernardeschi again, just all over the place. There's Costa and Ronaldo with the goal in the back of the net. Very similar to how he scored his first goal at Juve in real life. 
It's going to come all the way over and just celebrate right in our face in the camera. I got to say, I really hope Juve don't run away with the league title this year in Serie A. They, uh, last year, the league was just so exciting. It went down to the last day of the season. Napoli pushed them all the way. The rest of the table was 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 really tight. The Champions League places went down to the last day, but Juve just looks so dominant this year. They have so many talented players. Um, you know, Ronaldo's there now. They didn't lose anyone. They're so deep this year. They are looking pretty incredible as evidenced by beating Valencia 2-0 after Ronaldo getting sent off. But either way, we're going to go ahead and sell. We, we're going to end up selling Christensen, Van Hinkle, and Drinkwater, which... I thought about holding on to Christensen to see how he can grow throughout the game, but 33 million for him. We're going to really build up the budget here. And in the winter window, I think we're going to make a run at maybe a big name striker once we have. I think we're going to have around 62 million pounds after. Um, after these sales and then the money that's going to kick in from Champions League might sell. We're, we're actually a fairly we actually have a fairly deep squad built up after bringing in Asensio uh and Koulibaly so let's see yeah 62 million pounds right there so we might try to bring in one more big name in the winter maybe a player swap for a striker with Morata but either way uh we have the FA Community Shield coming up next for City in the next episode can't wait to play our first meaningful game of the season get the, su the summer games are out of the way our squad is looking pretty darn good right now uh I think we're in a good spot that's all I have for today I will see you guys tomorrow